So I'm curious at the answer to this as well. What is your biggest professional triumph, Jay? It could be more than one, and it can be personal and professional. Well, um, you did a lot with the army. I had a course. very successful career with the army. I mm -hmm. couldn't complain. Even, even as much as I tried to muck it up, it still was very successful. Yeah, it was. I, I got two degrees while I was on yeah. active duty, and um, had some great experiences. Um, and then the life after uh, the military mm -hmm. and knocking around. I guess what what really impacted me, and I didn't realize it at the time, is I spent two years in Saudi Arabia, Riyadh, yeah, as a, a military advisor to the uh, Air, Saudi Air Defense Force. What attracted you to that? It seemed like such a one-off in your overall oh, heart. Oh, just totally off. Yeah, and you I, took your whole family, right? Well, I tried. It yeah. didn't work out. Yeah. Um, before I retired, I put in an application to be a, volunteer, be a military advisor to any military mission in the world. And we have over 250 different locations around the world to provide wow. that service. So I, I was just going to throw a dart at the, at the world and say, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, after the first year of retirement, I didn't get a, any answer from the Department of the Army. So I said, well, they, well okay, they don't want me. Mm -hmm. Well, a few months later, and, uh, Raytheon out of Andover, Massachusetts called me and said, we need a logistics advisor in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Really? That's, an, that's funny, too, because in my entire military career, I spent three months as a supply officer. Hmm. So they sent me to get my master's in logistics management. Figure, go figure. Go figure. <laughs> so they said, so I, I went for my first interview, and this Saudi major uh, in Andover interviewed me, and he was arrogant, sarcastic, and condescending. Condescending, and I said, no, I don't need this. So I said, no. Mm -hmm. Besides, my mother was. Uh, on the stages of being fatally ill and mm -hmm. timing wasn't right, so mm -hmm. I said no. And I came back nine months later and said, would you please reconsider? And my mother had passed at that point, and okay. uh, I went back up for another interview, this time a different major, and he was more amenable. He was not quite as arrogant and so forth. I said, well, I guess I can do that. So I get over to uh, Riyadh and spend, I find out that uh, I'm working about three hours a day <laughs> between prayer calls and tea and lunch and writing military op plans mm -hmm. uh, translated into Arabic and uh, wow. spent more, more time getting involved in the underground Christian church there in Riyadh. Mm -hmm. There were uh, four western compounds, uh, walled city compounds, and inside there were 60 or 70 three-bedroom ranch houses for Americans and Brits and Aussies and what have mm -hmm. you. And uh, there was always at least one or two houses that were willing to have an evening Bible study or, and or a praise and worship service on Friday morning. Uh -huh. and so that was my time in the desert. Mm -hmm. So that was, a, that was a real turning point How in my life. How long were you over there? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Got and, to come you, and you came back on your own volition or were you sent back? Or that was the end of contract. I got you. Okay. And uh, that, that was a, uh, really a... And the, my free time I spent studying in the Bible mm -hmm. on my own. And uh, I came back from the state, or back to the States and said, uh, looking at my career, I six, 20 years in the Army, uh, two years at Saudi, in the, in the church there in Saudi Arabia, I thought, I, need, I was happiest being involved working with people mm -hmm. and helping people. And you realized it then? Yeah, and I said, <clears throat> well, who's, who's doing all the help? Well, psychiatrists are passing out pills. <laughs> Psychologists are doing research and analysis, and so there's psych Ds, but it takes you six years to be a psych D. Wow. But social workers, they're doing all the therapy. So I said, I'll go be a ther I'll go be a social worker. Yeah, and then the Kent School <laughs> did did t sixty hours sixty hours uh, in uh, sixteen months. Wow, full time. And, and it was your first degree sober. First correct? degree sober. That's why I'm such a U of L fanatic fan. I'm one, <laughs> Notice I'm, the tie, ladies I'm, I'm the ones that you're, that you're warned about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out there in the cold. You and got the heat, it. You, know, you and the cardinal mascot. Right? That's it. Right.